Hey everybody, how's it going? I thought it'd be really uh, cool to ask you a question concerning flow. States of flow are states where we are psychologically engaged. We know that when we are really focused, we are in a different brain state than when we are ruminating or when we are anxious or depressed. So, at least in theory, it would be very important to have psychological engagement within our day. We know that people are typically engaged when they are actually in a social relationship, when they are engaged in reciprocity uh, and attunement, where they're attending to the really the facial and emotional cues of another person, usually within a sense of really positivity where there's this play-like dynamic sort of emerging. But when we are really on our own, we are very, very vulnerable to rumination as the default neural network is more active. But I say that we have a say as to how we sort of manage that network by identifying where it is we find psychological engagement. And I would implore you to try to take emotional and mental notes. When have you found yourself in some sense swept up within psychological engagement? What were you doing? Were you alone? Were you with people? Were you doing some kind of creative work? Were you doing some kind of intellectual work? What was the environment like? Take important notes because you can start to really learn how to really architect uh, a lifestyle where you start to place yourself in situations where you do find more psychological engagement. So for example, I can tell you from my own personal experience as a registered nurse, uh, in inpatient psychiatry, I found this incredible state of flow when I was listening to the parents of the children I was taking care of, and then sort of mediating between the parent and the child. I found myself just completely, completely immersed in trying to understand the perspective of really this attachment figure. And then of course the child, because I, I think I am sort of wired to basically solve emotional conflict. I, I think that's like where I am called to be. And I think there were, there lies like my profound state of flow. And it was more of like a social role of mediating. And this is sort of in line with what we know about really the Enneagram nine and the INFP temperament. So, uh, I just want to really know if you've had a similar experience, if you are a nine, uh, wing one, uh, idealist type of temperament, and if not, really where you have found a sense of flow in your life. I would love to hear from you with a comment. Uh, and if you find these videos interesting and you want to see more from me, you can like the video. Okay, see you soon. Bye-bye.